Hey guys, it's me Sam and welcome to this week's weekly catch up video. Uh, as you can see today I'm training a bag lady. It's Sunday guys, I don't bother doing things to myself on a Sunday. I've basically, I haven't even brushed my hair today. This is how lazy I am on Sundays. So I've, I've just literally whacked it up into some sort of a bun. I'm going to leave these glasses, there's no muck on the face. This, this is the true sound. And I've got my glasses on because I've just been doing some research. So that involved me doing some reading. And I can't read stuff about these on my face. So let's take them off now because I don't need them for right now. So how has this week been for me? Oh, thrilling and fun fact. As per usual. Not. Um, Monday. Well, Monday didn't really do much. I um I recorded my Tanya Burr makeup tutorial for you all. Hope you enjoyed that. It was quite nice actually trying out the cosmetics because they are nice. They are really nice. Top quality. Well, I won't say top quality, but good quality makeup anyway. So um yeah. And um another boring day at home, what, what can I say? Uh, Tuesday I recorded my spend the day video with me which I uploaded on Wednesday and I also had to go and see Tracy at the job centre for the first time properly and um, that was nice because we have a proper nice catch up and a chat about things and stuff like you do when you go to see the advisor at the job centre. Wednesday was a bit of a poo poo day. Oh. Now Wednesday and it's the same basically for the 21st of every month until I get a job. Um, that's when I'm going to get my universal credit money monthly. And I thought I was going to get about 400 and something pounds. That was not the case. They only paid me 292 pounds. Now obviously this leaves me a bit in a poo-poo situation again this month because obviously with that as well as what Jessica's going to be paying me for her rent I have just about enough to pay the rent to make sure my direct debits are due to come out soon are paid and I think I've, as from what I've worked out I've got about 13, 14 pounds for shopping every week until I receive another payment. I know I can do it, you know it's not the fact that I've gone completely into panic mode because if we think back to when I first lost my job before I had any kind of money coming in it's literally just the same situation but I'm a little bit peed off with my housing officer because I did contact her and explain to her what had happened and the fact that I wasn't going to be able to afford to pay the rent this month but considering I'd already paid in £750 that, you know this month you know could she not just let me off this month and then I'll just go back to paying as per normal when I next get paid and their response was if you put together what you've received for universal credit as well as your last job seekers payment then you've got enough to pay your rent so basically her answer was no pay your rent and that's that she's such a cow she really is so yeah um things are going to be a little bit tough this month which is the next few weeks so unfortunately there's not going to be any major exciting shopping hauls guys sorry but it ain't gonna happen we'll cope i always do um probably one of the main reasons why i always try and keep the freezer stocked with food so at least then you know we can always have a cooked meal on the night for some reason on monday something had told me to go and buy or pay for my gas and electric because i i have prepayment meters so i basically buy it on a card and then I put it into the machine and then it's down to me to try and budget it so we don't run out so my brain did well to do that on Monday when I had money still I mean I've still got money in the bank but obviously like I said whatever I've got as well as what Jess gives me it's got to go on rent and bills <sighs> anyway enough of that don't need to be talking about that because it's a little bit well it's not stressful it's not it will be fine it's just can't do any spurges that's all that's really 
Right. So, it's obviously due to the fact that I'm lacking money. Um, I'm going to be stuck in the house a lot. I'm going to try and preoccupy my time because um, obviously I'm getting really into my ghost story research now. Um, for example, my last one, which is in regards to the Palace of Versailles in France. I mean, I knew some bits and bobs about its history, but some of the stuff that I've learned about it since is just, wow, wow, what a place. Honestly, its history is remarkable, and I hope one day I get to go and visit it for myself, because <clears throat> I can see me doing cartwheels down the hall of mirrors. I can, I can indeed. It would appear my webcam is possessed again guys, so the last bit I've just recorded, I don't know if it did actually record or not, whether I'm going to be uploading it. Uh, so, mm, if there seems to be a gap, that will explain why. English class, it still works. Anyway, I fancy doing some spring cleaning. I do. Clocks went back. No, forwards? Yes, forwards. And it has been... A Gorgeous, gorgeous day today. So nice. I've actually had lots of windows in the house open, letting fresh air. Not that it's doing anything about the smell that's now emanating from the hallway where my cat has obviously just been to the toilet and had dumpage. It's where I keep her little tray because she's an indoor cat. She doesn't go outside to empty, so I've got a cat litter box which has got a lid on it so she has privacy and nobody has to watch what comes out of her behind but you can smell it that's all i'm going to say now i've already made a start on some of the spring cleaning uh, i went completely bonkers upstairs with the vacuum yesterday because me and jess have both got quite long hair that has the nasty habit of falling out it kind of like clings to the carpet so the carpet needs deburring they did so I gave me carpets a really good vacuum. Uh, today I've been upstairs in my bedroom, I've changed bed linen, so it's nice, clean, fresh bed linen for me to climb into later on. I had a good, nice tidy up in my bedroom. Tidied up through my boots and my shoes. I even forced myself to throw a pair of boots out. I have no idea how heartbreaking that was guys you will all know that i'm addicted to boots and i have got around 20 maybe more pairs of boots i should have counted them actually when i was doing it but yeah but anyway i had to put a pair of boots in the bin the one boot was really all right there was nothing wrong with it and there's nothing wrong with the heels it's just the fact that in the one boot like a, a holes kind of like gone and had to go in the bin they had to I just have to buy another pair and have to replace them. <laughs> just not at the moment. Maybe when I've got a little bit more money and I'm able to do so, then I'll, I will. You know what I'm like. I just have to do it. So, yeah. Bedroom's nice and tidy. And at some point, I think I'm going to paint up there. I've been meaning and wanting to do my bedroom now for, for some time. My bedroom hasn't been decorated in years. So, that's my next plan of action to consider doing that but until i do make a start in my bedroom i am going to do the landing i'm gonna paint the woodwork the door frames and all that pizzazz uh paint the walls brighten it up a little bit more there and it will give me something to do keep me occupied until obviously i find a job oh quick slip of tea in today's Cup of the day is this one. Hermes where the tea brews. Ah, so yeah, decorating definitely needs to be done. Definitely. So what I've got planned for next week. Uh, Monday will mainly be, I must pay my rent. Which just transfers some money into my account and I can go and pay my rent. I'm also going to have to bring up accounts and explain to them that I can't pay my council tax until I get paid again. I just hope they're all right about it. I don't see why they won't be. As long as I agree to make that payment, then there's nothing really they can do. Uh, probably going to do some more research until my next ghost story that's coming up. 
Tuesday will be a day at home for small research. So whether I upload a ghost story in those two days or not, I'm, I don't know. It depends on how quick I can get this research done and then typed up for me. You'll got, you guys obviously can tell I'm, I'm, I'm reading it from something. Because I, I get my research, I put it all together and then I make my own story from it basically. So, yeah, it depends on how quick I get that done. So, Tuesday will probably be more research. So, another ghost story that I've got planned for this week. Wednesday, I've got to go to the job fair at the job centre and the library. Oh, talking about libraries, I've just applied for a job at the library. I used to love going to the library when I was younger. I used to love books and reading books. But obviously, because you can see things online these days, Books are starting to become a little bit obsolete. But I saw this job being advertised there and I was like, ooh, that sounds cushy. So I've applied for it. Oh, talking about jobs that I've applied for. Something I was gonna I was gonna mention. One of my very first job interviews when I first lost my job at Judd was for a company called Mental Training. Now I said I was gonna leave it until the end of the week and if I hadn't heard anything back from them in regards to whether or not. I was getting a job there because they said they would contact people in March to let them know if they got the job and then they could start in April. Well, as we all know, March is nearly over. So I tried ringing her, got no response. So I was like, okay, fair enough. I'll email you instead. So I've emailed her, but I've had an email back saying she's on leave. So hopefully she'll get back to me on Monday. So basically what I've done is put to her like, what's the crack? Did I get the job or not? I need to know. I would like to know. Please let me know. So, you might have that to look forward to on Monday. You never know. Yeah. Okay, but as I said, on Wednesday I've got to go to the job fair. That should be interesting. Well, I think Jess is going to be there anyway. So, at least I can chat to her. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Uh, I probably won't do my Asta weekly shop haul that day i'll probably go shopping in asta on wednesday instead because that's you know i'm in town anyway so i might as well get it done and dusted after i've been to the job fair so i don't know what i'll be doing thursday yet we don't need we'll have to wait and see don't we and then friday i want to upload my second ghost story for you all and then obviously on sunday as per usual i will do that week's weekly catch-up video and yeah, thrilling and fun packed week for me plans. Yay. Really looking forward to it. Hopefully, hopefully, if the weather stays like this, I also plan to get my eyes outside in the front garden and give it a good tidy up. Because it got completely trashed in the winter. I had to have new guttering put up. And the company that the Alison Association subcontracted in to do that work, well, not actually, the Alison Association did the good drink, but they got another company in to put the scaffolding up for them. They literally ruined my front garden. I had this gorgeous blackberry bush underneath my living room window. It doesn't exist anymore because I completely flattened it. So I need to tidy up underneath my room window basically because at the moment it just looks like I don't know what it is and I'd like to give the grass a cut as well and I've got some flowers I want to plant I do it was a birthday present I had from one of my ex-colleagues at George so I'm gonna get those planted I do I do indeed and yeah it's just been nice to get outside maybe help work off some calories which is the next thing I'm going to discuss, I plan to fully start my diet again tomorrow. I bought myself some nice tea bags yesterday. I don't know if you've watched that haul. As I said, if you haven't, go and watch it after this. But Twinings have just released some new tea bags. And I picked up the matcha green tea ones with lime and cranberry. I haven't tried them yet. Looking forward to doing so. But yeah, I need to get my mojo, guys. I need it back with a passion. I need to get my shit together and I need to go right. We need to lose weight. 
We do. We do indeed. So even if I have a bad back and my knees pale, I'm going to have to start forcing myself to get out of this house and go for walks or do some gardening or just anything. Get me, get me out of this house instead of being sat in front of the laptop, watching YouTube videos, getting fatter and fatter and fatter. I have had to force myself not to buy anything unhealthy. So no more walnut whips. As much as I like them, no more walnut whips. I'm going to have to stick to me lovely grease bars instead because they're much better. Less calories, healthier as well. So, yes, <coughs> this should be fun. Anyway, guys, I'm going to conclude this video now. Thank you very much for watching as usual. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to leave me a comment or if you have any questions you'd like to ask me, please feel free to leave them below in the comments down below. Yes. Hello there, down there. Uh, if you're new to watching my videos and you'd like to see more of me, please hit that subscribe button now. I love getting new subscribers. And I'm starting to gain subscribers again, which is nice. More the better. And hopefully in the future when the money is sorted and I'm a little bit more financial able to do so there will be shitload more shopping hauls to come. There will. I mean I'm always I'm already getting withdrawal symptoms of with Primark and Lush. Oh I need to get back there too as soon as possible. Anyway guys I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my afternoon. I will be doing a Sunday roast later on for me and Jess for our dinner. Can't wait. I've had that. I haven't had one for a good couple of weeks. I do like a good Sunday roast. And this week we're having roast gammon. Mmm. Love gammon. I do. Do indeed. Anyway, love for my waffling. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. I'll see you all very, very soon. And until then, you take care. And I am gone. Bye for now. <laughs>